Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to this Mass here at St John's. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. We continue to rejoice in the mighty resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Good Shepherd. He is the Shepherd who selflessly cares for his sheep. At the beginning of this Eucharist, let us call to mind and confess our sins. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had escaped during the persecution that happened because of Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, but they usually proclaimed the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, who came from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch, where they started preaching to the Greeks, proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus to them as well. The Lord helped them, and a great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The church in Jerusalem heard about this, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. There he could see for himself that God had given grace, and this pleased him, and he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith, and a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas then left for Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. As these things turned out, they were to live together in the church a whole year, instructing a large number of people. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. O praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all you nations. nations. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. O oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord all you nations. nations. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing. In you all find their home. O oh, praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord all, all you nations. Alleluia, alleluia, listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone and no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. So let us pray for grace that we may listen to the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Listen and respond following in his footsteps, secure in the promise of eternal life. We pray for the mission of the church in this and every land, and for her leaders. We pray for Peter, our bishop for Ruth of Taunton and for Jonathan, for this parish, for its growth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who refuse to listen to the voice of Jesus, for those who have turned their back on God for those who find faith just too difficult. We pray for those who feel disenfranchised from the life of the church. For those people on the margins of our worshipping community that they may be drawn in. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the world in which we live and move and have our being, especially for those who have authority and power and influence in politics, in economics, in the activity of this world. We pray for a more just and equitable sharing of the resources God has given us in creation. And we pray for the coming of peace and reconciliation in every land. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those commended to our prayers. Steve, Mike, Heather, Dorothy, Margaret, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence, Debbie. We pray for the residents of care homes in our parish and for all who are shielding at home. May all who suffer find healing and hope in the wounds of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we commend to God all those whom we love but see no longer, who rejoice with us but on another shore and in a greater light. And we commend the living and the departed, all those for whom we have prayed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray for a moment in silence. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and he said to them, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the risen Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you, one and all. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray. Dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. 
For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice with praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of the Apostles, the Martyrs, of John the Evangelist, our patron, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share 
in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, Megastodia, Tibet. Sanguinis Christi. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Merciful Father, you gave your Son Jesus Christ to be the Good Shepherd and in his love for us to lay down his life and rise again. Keep us always under his protection and give us grace to follow in his steps. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen us to walk with him in his life. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon us to dwell deep within us this day and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.